let's look at the various text formatting options in Confluence. Confluence has all the standard formatting options you'd see in other document editors, such as bold, italics, underline, strike through, even alignment and color. To align blocks of text or bulleted and numbered lists, you can also use keyboard actions. To indent, press the Tab key. To outdent, press Shift plus Tab. Let's see some more formatting options and macros available in the Insert list. You can insert an option and then click Publish to see the result. To add a quote, place your cursor on the page, select Quote from the Insert list, and type the text to be quoted. You can also press the forward slash key on your keyboard and type the name of the required option or macro that you want to use on the page. For example, instead of selecting Quote from the Insert list, press the forward slash key and type Quote. If you want to separate sections of the text, place your cursor at the desired location and select Divider from the Insert list or use the forward slash key option. You can also add a date in the page. You can open the calendar by either selecting the date option from the insert list or typing double forward slash and selecting date. Select the required date on the calendar and it will be added to the page. If you want to assign a task to a team member, click the action item button on the toolbar. Add brief information about the task, followed by the team member's name using at. You can add multiple action items and assign them to different people. The action items are displayed on the assigned user's profile, who can then select the checkboxes once the task is completed. Sometimes the amount of information on the page can be overwhelming. You can choose the Expand option in the Insert list to display extra information for people who need it without cluttering it up for everyone else. Place the cursor at the desired location and then insert the forward slash symbol and type Expand. Provide the additional information in the box and add appropriate title so users can expand the title and view the information if required. If you feel you need to draw people's attention to some content, you can provide that content in an information panel. Select Info Panel from the Insert list to create a colored box surrounding the text. You can also choose an icon with a specific background color. If you want to notify a user about an update in the page or draw their attention to a specific comment, Type at followed by the person's name. Next, let's look at the layout formatting options in Confluence. The layout of your pages can have a big influence on how they're read and the kind of visual impact it provides. You can create different column layouts in Confluence using the Layouts tool. You can choose to have two or three columns or have columns with sidebars. You can easily switch between the options. 
When you change the column layout, additional columns are added to the right, and when you change to a layout with fewer columns, the content moves to the left. That brings us to the end of this video on formatting content. In this video, you learned how to format text, format layout, 